Welcome. My name is Troy Lambert, and I'm here with my partner in crime, CJ and I. Hello. Back to create more chaos. I'm kidding. That's not what we're yes, here for. Not going to create chaos. What we're actually going to do, although we might, I, I don't know, but let me just reconsider that. What we're actually going to do today <laughs> is we're going to talk about one part of Plotter that's the notes section in Plotter. So with that, I'm going to share my screen, and CJ and I are going to walk through how to create notes in Plotter and what those notes look like. So first of all, let's start, CJ, with how to create a note in Plotter. There's a couple of different ways to do it, so let's look at those. Well, the first way is to click on that plus sign next to notes, and then you're going to see this lovely box, and you can name your notes, which is fun. You can also add a few attributes to your notes. So this is very similar to what we have done with scene cards or what we have done with characters, what we've done on the timeline. So if there's anything specific that you want to create for your notes, if there are, if you have a formula for writing down notes. So I know that Troy, you've done some research. Haven't you done research on weaponry and things like that? And so you have a certain mm -hmm. way of organizing your notes and putting those yes. together. And the, the one thing I want to know about each note is the source. Like, right. where did it come from? So I can click on it and go back to it. So when I create that, I click this little paragraph button. What that does is it gives me these rich text options here. So basically, I can add a website. So let's say I found this on the New York Times. I can come and add a link to the article, which I would copy and paste there to the New York Times article where I got this information. And then I can go back to it really easily. Now, I'll put some notes still in here in the notes in the notes section that describes some things. But then if I have to go back for more detail, I know where I can go back and do that research without having to go back and redo it again. So that's actually the way that I use that in the attributes in notes. There's not a lot of other things that I want to because remember attributes are global. So there's not a yeah. whole lot of other things I want to know about every single note in my file, but I do want to know where I got the information 90% of the time. So that's really helpful there as well. Now, you can also create categories. So what are some categories that you use, CJ? Um, we have one here, well, main. I don't know. Yes. Um, <laughs> you you know, can recategorize that any way you want to. Main's pretty much default. But for some people, the, the category that they would choose would be family tree. I know that some people have done family tree notes categories because they're either writing epic sagas that are generational or maybe it's like a, a category of, you know, the kingdom and the hierarchy. Sometimes it's a category of magic systems. And so potentially some people have used notes as a way to world build. It really just depends on what works for you, what kind of categories you want to place, how you want to create things. It's, I mean, it, you know, it just, this is a way for you to keep track and organize based on the way your brain functions. And that's what's beautiful about Plotter. Another plug for Plotter is that you can customize this according to your brain's needs. And since my brain needs a lot, there are a lot of things that I customize. So categories are a really great way to do that. Absolutely. I yeah. do a lot of the, like the research, a lot of pre-writing things, stuff like that, that I, I just... I have a category for all kinds of different things that I do in Plotter. Now, one of the things you can do is you can add an image. So there's, let's say, I'm going to go over and create a new note with this other way to create a new note, which is this button over here. And I'm going to create something I researched on poison. And then I can choose an image. Now, what I can do is I can upload files here. So if I have some images uploaded already, it'll have them here but I can upload files here. So I can drag and drop a file or I can select a file from my computer and I can upload it here. And then it's gonna give me the offer to choose this. And so I'm gonna choose poison because who wouldn't? Um, right. Anyway, and I'm gonna say maybe this is, maybe this is part of the magic system is some kind of poison that kills people or whatever. Maybe I found details of this poison on maybe the poison and oh, if I can spell poison it. control, poison <laughs> control center. I called one eight hundred ick or whatever that number is to find out about poison, and they told me to get off of this line because it's not an emergency. 
anyway <laughs> and so i put the website dot com here and you'll see that that changes into a link right there anyway so that's another another way that you can use notes is you can add some photos as well additional information that i may have learned there is no cure you are dead okay so anyway that's that's I cheerful that's i love it cheerful <laughs> That's why I like to write cheerful, cozy little mysteries that are all about that. So that's another way that you can use images. And we've already kind of shown you the fact that you can make notes here and you can actually use hyperlinks as well. You can also add additional photos in this section here. I usually don't do that because they're kind of large. So if I have additional photos that are related to the notes, I'll actually create another hyperlink to those in another folder. But you can add images here if you want to do that. Now. There's also one other thing in notes, and that's up on the upper left-hand side of the notes thing. So let's talk about that, CJ. What is there's things for books, characters, places? What's that all about? So if you click on books, you can actually state, okay, this particular note applies to this particular book in this series. In case you're wondering, oh, dang it, did the, the there is no cure, you drop dead, this character was killed off in book two, was it book three? And then you don't have to sit there and figure out, you know, the do the, the author thing. And by author thing, I mean the CJ thing, where you learn the hard way and you're reading all the way through all of your books just to figure out where that happened, when it happened, and to remind yourself of things. So it's a nice way to kind of create a bit of a story Bible in the notes section as well. Same thing with characters. Are these things happening to specific characters in specific places? What is applicable to these notes? Which characters are applicable? And so tagging is also a helpful thing as well. So in some ways you're you're using books and characters and and locations such as places in order to to classify where things are happening, to organize things and it helps with filtering and searching, which are some things that we will go over in our our video on miscellaneous items that you should learn. And then there's tagging as well. So Tags, we've talked about tags before in previous videos, but basically you can tag anything you want to. We have a student who does this thing where she is tagging scenes that are kind of written, scenes that are almost written, and then scenes that are completely written, but just need to be reviewed, you know, and that's her way of figuring things out. So you can tag notes however you want. It's it's just a fun way to organize. Exactly. Well, that's, and that about covers it for the notes section. There, like I said, there's all kinds of things you can do with notes, tags, places, characters, books. Then you can filter by all those things, which we'll talk about in another video. You can add images, you can add notes, you can name them kind of whatever you want to name them. Really, the notes are for you. It's something that doesn't ever actually appear in your book. It's just a place for you to house your research that's not necessarily related to characters and places, since we have somewhere for both of those things to live. Uh, so if you're interested in those, see our video on characters and also our video on settings as well. And with that, everybody, that's it for notes. Thanks for joining us.